The 4th of July holiday is the perfect time to hit the water, but if you're not careful, a fun day at the lake could turn into a nightmare. CBS News Detroit's Luke Laster is on your block in New Baltimore with ways to keep you and your family safe. It's the week of Independence Day and many are headed for the water, whether it's a beach, a pool, the lake, a watchful eye is always needed, especially when it comes to the kids. Every child in America knows how to stop, drop and roll. We would love every child in America to learn how to flip, float and follow. Bob Pratt is the director of education for the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project. He spent over two decades as fireman and paramedic in East Lansing and has since taken on another element, the water. Drowning is the, the leading cause of accidental death in kids one to four and the second leading cause in, in kids under, under 15. Statistics provided from the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project show us 36 drownings in 2024 as of July 1st. 16 in Lake Michigan, 2 in Lake Superior, 2 in Lake Huron, 10 in Lake Erie, and 6 in Lake Ontario. Details surrounding each death can be found on cbsnewsdetroit.com. We recommend that people designate a, a water watcher. A water watcher is someone whose only responsibility is watching the water. This is a, a water watcher card. Here's one on a lanyard. Here's one on a with a, a little wrist bracelet. So designate someone whose only job it is to watch the kids in the water because drowning is subtle. Unlike movies or television that show arms waving in the air and yelling, Pratt says drowning happens in the snap of a finger. They're literally going to be there one second um, and then they're going to submerge. And then unfortunately, a lot of times they're, they're invisible in the water because of the disruption and the glare. Pratt says any water education is good education. But when it comes to those brightly colored swimsuits, if you're worried about noticing your child submerged in the water, we're already behind the eight ball. We're already way too late. So it's far more important that we prevent um, the submersion from happening than we are in, in dealing with it uh, after, after it's happened. For CBS News Detroit, I'm Luke Laster.